Okay, everyone, so this is what I have to decorate my coffee place with. Let's go ahead and get started with these two signs. I have this home sweet home sign, this bless our nest. I'm hoping to play off the wood and the greenery and both of these pieces. I have this frame that you guys already saw. The funny thing is when I took it down, it fell off and I had to staple it. But I have used this in the last two decorate with me's and I absolutely love how it looks. So because I'm trying to stick to a garden theme again, I wanted to go ahead and keep it. This time around, I wanna stick to like a herb, herb. I don't know if you pronounce it like that. I think it's just herb garden theme and I'm hoping that I can accomplish that with these things. But I got this pot last year from Hobby Lobby and this is what inspired my theme. I just love like that mossy look on the terracotta color and I thought this was a really good way of like being able to keep the coral color I have in my living room just because it kind of plays off really well off of the terracotta color which I have here as well have these two plants from hearth and hand some like cement pieces like i said in my previous videos i just really like to play with materials and textures i have the little stool my real house plant and then i have the same mugs that i had i just picked out the ones that can stay for spring and then the other ones i'm probably going to turn around since it's no longer easter but let's get to it Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start off the same way I did in my last decorate with me, which is by layering my bigger pieces that I want in the background. So that includes this broken frame that I'm going to go ahead and use again because I'm not going to go buy anything new for this decorate with me. So I'm just going to layer this in the back and I'm going to use this one next. I'm going to layer it towards the front of it to hold it in place. I'm just making sure I have the equal amount of empty space on both sides. And then I wanna try to cover this Bless Our Nest writing and just leave the greenery. So I will be using this Home Sweet Home sign right in front of it. And I'm gonna pull it just a little bit this way. Just like that, I think that works. So now I'm just gonna place a mug in front of it to hold it in place because I don't want it to fall over. Okay, please stay. Now, next up, I know that I wanted to keep this plant in this corner just because it gets so much sunlight here. I mean, it pretty much gets sunlight anywhere in my living room or my kitchen now but I love this like dangling piece and I thought it would look super cute up here and it'll help with the garden theme. So that is it. Now that I have this plant here, um, I know that this side needs some height. So I am going to use the same stool I used in my last decorate with me because I really liked how it looked. So I'm just gonna place this right here like that. And then I'm gonna put this plant. So this plant is almost the same green as that green. I don't know if it's just me, but I like my greenery to match in color. So for example, I wouldn't use any lamb's ear here just because I have this like very like dark green color. So I wanna play off of that palette. So I don't know if I'm the only one that likes doing that with the greenery, but I try to stick to the same like palette as much as I can and I like for them to look as real as I can especially during like this summer spring transition I think the more vibrant the green the better so next up ugh, I'm gonna use this one so this is the rosemary one from the hearth and hand I believe I'm gonna place this one right here just like that and then I'm going to add a little cement piece because I have a lot of like wood elements. I have some terracotta, so I feel like a little cement piece will look good right here. So I'm just gonna place it right there like that. And now I wanna make this side look more like a garden. So, uh, 
I have these pieces right here. I'm gonna do the same thing where like it kind of looks like it's falling over because I have this hanging greenery. And then this one, will, this cement pot will just be standing. And I think that is everything for the top. So let's go ahead and place our mugs and then let's move to the bottom, which I don't think I'm gonna do much to the bottom, but I might add some pieces there. Okay, so now moving to the mugs, I have to tippy toe. I wanna go ahead and keep the ones that are like still spring related because it's not yet summer and spring still works. So I'm just gonna put anything that has like a spring saying or can work for spring. I'm gonna go ahead and place them at the bottom, let me keep this one here. I have this one, this one says Honey Bunny and although it's a little bit Easter, I think it still works for spring because the honey is spelled honey. So I'm gonna leave that one out. And then of course, Cup of Happy I think works perfectly for spring. Now I do still have my Easter mugs out here so they're the colored ones. I'm just gonna flip them that's my coffee machine sorry but anyways i'm just gonna flip them so the blank side is visible i just think it gives a very like clean look and it still works it's a great way to make your mugs work for everything if you don't have a specific saying for a specific season so that is this shelf and i think it looks really cute so let's move on over to the bottom Okay, so for the bottom down here, I know I want to keep it pretty simple because I don't want to overcrowd this space specifically because I want to get an espresso. So I want to keep that space. So over here, I usually use my two-tier tray. This time I am not. I'm just going to place like my coffee, sugar, and tea canisters. But I want to bring some elements of like a garden down here. So I pulled out this wood round and it has like little feet so it'll look even better i think i'll use this like as a little pedestal for my canisters and i think it'll just add the slight touch of garden down here and like i said i'm just using my coffee canister that has my coffee filters in it it's just the perfect size for them my sugar one, this one has like my actual coffee. It's a little bit dirty. Ah. Like and then my tea one. So the tea actually doesn't have anything in it, but it looks cute. Like that. And then again, I wanna make it still match my garden theme going up on the top so I just got this little galvanized tin that I'll go ahead and put right here like if it was falling down and then I'm just going to stick this little piece of greenery right there and that is everything for this corner. Okay so now for the middle of my table or like my actual dining room table I'm going to keep it super simple because this is I'm just using stuff that I already had you guys and I want to make sure that it all matches or goes together at least with the theme I'm trying to go for this time around without it seeming too repetitive. So I'm just gonna use this pot that I got last year from Hobby Lobby. It's just like a mossy terracotta pot. I love the colors on it. And some eucalyptus. Again, this eucalyptus is real dried up eucalyptus, so it's brighter than like the fake one you would normally find at Hobby Lobby or anywhere else. So I want to try to stick to that bright green color and I'm just going to stuff this in this little vase. Just like that and then I'm just going to use my same placemats. I love these placemats because they go with absolutely every type of decor during the spring. So 
gonna put those back. Friday night. Found a photograph of her. And that is it. Without cares and worn out clothes, doesn't seem so long ago. Now I'm just sitting here bored at home. So now I have the rods that are, are in my kitchen and you guys, I do plan on decorating these differently. I have a lot of ideas in my head, but those ideas would require me going to Hobby Lobby and I can't. So for now, I'm trying to stick to things that I already have. And in this case, I'm just gonna reuse what's working right now. So that is my cutting boards, the little galvanized tin up here and my two cutting boards down here. And I'm just adding certain pieces to make it work with the different themes that I've been trying out. So this one's gonna be a quick and easy one. I'm just going to add this Ray Dunn plant holder back. I used it in my first decorate with me. But this time I'm just adding some greenery. I'm not adding any flowers to it. And I'm just gonna place that right there. Now I have this little, I, this isn't actually like a napkin. It's super small, but I'm gonna use it as an actual like kitchen towel. I'm just gonna fold it very, very minimally in the back to make it look longer than it actually is. Ah, hopefully it stays just like that. I think that's it. I'm gonna use one of the little hooks just to make sure that it stays. So I'm just gonna put it like that. And then up above, let's go ahead and move up. I have to tippy toe. But up here, I don't know if you guys can see me, I do have this kitchen towel and it has a bunch of herbs on it. I got it from Target Dollar Spot last year and I think this is gonna be perfect to actually really tie in the coffee bar. So I'm gonna place this up here, just like that. And then, ah. And then I'm gonna put my wooden spoon measuring thing jigs right there. And then I'm gonna add this little wired house back up here. And that is everything for these rods. And you guys, these rods are going to be linked down below in my description box if you guys are interested. But that is everything for this side of the kitchen. Alrighty, everyone. So that is everything for this part one of this Decorate With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down below if you guys enjoyed it, if you like the theme. I think it's a really good like transitional theme because it's not summer yet, but it kind of feels like summer sometimes so i think it works perfect i also really like how it ties in what's going out in my backyard if you guys don't know we have three gardens going on and we have so many plants so it's super exciting and yeah i'm just enjoying growing like our own vegetables and herbs and although i don't have actual real herbs in here i know i have them back there so i just feel like it all tied in again let me know down below what you thought and again if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not i would really really appreciate it like i always say in all of my videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you get notified of my upcoming video will be the rest of my house to decorate with me for this time around and then it will be my house tour my home tours you guys usually i go more into detail as to where certain items are from and i try to link them if i know that they're still available and if i don't link them just leave me a comment down below and i try to answer most of the comments asking me where a certain item is from so yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye